Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to Centurion's Review, the punk rock band of war game review institutions. This is Red Vengeance 1945, the destruction of Nazi Germany from Avalanche Press. Red Vengeance is a swift playing game based on the triumph and end of the Great Patriotic War when the Soviet peoples threw the, the fascist invaders back into the ruins of Berlin. Players move the actual armor and infantry units of the German Wehrmacht and the Red Army of workers and peasants. The object of the game is to either hold off the vengeful Soviets or put an end to an insanely evil regime. Units are rated for combat strength and movement capability. When dice fly, will your strategy conquer? Then here it says 60 to 90 minutes, but according to Board Game Geek, people were saying it takes more like 3 hours to play or 2 hours. Two players, 40 miles a hex. 16 pages of rules. It says difficulty level is very low. And solitaire play is good. On Board Game Geek, people were saying this is basically a bucket of dice game, meaning you throw a lot of dice. Alright. Also on Board Game Geek, some people said the game wasn't balanced, but one guy on there said it was very balanced, so who knows. But here's the counters. One person was complaining they're uh, paper thin. They are very thin. They're not paper thin, but they're very thin. So, I, I, I mean, that's a reasonable comment. They look okay, though. Here's some errata. Here's a rule book. We'll get to that in a second. All right, here's your player aid card. You got an air power table and a terrain key and terrain effects chart. All right, some people on Board Game Geek were complaining that the map doesn't look look that good. It's not. I mean, it's pretty simple, but uh, for a mini box game, uh, it's not too bad. It, it's actually less than I would have expected. I would have expected better artwork than this, but I'm sure it's functional. It's got the terrain key on the side, and here's your. I guess it's got a. There's your setup positions there, and here's your turn track. Right, and the previous owner was smart enough to make a photocopy of the counters before he punched them out in case you lose one. Alright, let's go through the rules. Starts with an intro and goes over the components. The units have a combat strength and a movement allowance on them. Looks like there's leaders too. So now it's talking about how to set up the game. I think someone on Board Game Geek said it took a while to set up. Okay, here's your sequence of play. That's what we're really interested in. Starts with the initial segment, allied, then their allied organization phase, allied movement phase, allied combat phase, allied exploitation movement phase. I assume you do that with armor or something. Yeah, allied armor guard and mountain units get bonus movement. Allied exploitation combat phase and excess organization phase. And then Axis Movement Phase, Axis Combat, Axis Exploitation, Axis Exploitation Combat Phase. And looks like the game has Supply and Weather Rules. Here's all your movement uh, rules. Stacking, uh, you can stack up to two units plus any number of uh, leaders and division size units may occupy the same hex. Looks like you got Zones of Control as I would have expected. Looks like you can use strategic movement if you want. And there's another thing called exploitation movement. Alright, here's all your combat rules. Alright, this here, this is just kind of a copy of the terrain effects chart with a little explanation to it. Alright, here's your replacement rules and reinforcements. Looks like uh, Axis is minor allies. Oh, like Bulgaria, Hungary, and Romania. Okay. And then allied minor allies, which would be Yugoslavia and Poland in this. Okay. And there's air and naval support. Interesting. I didn't expect the naval support. I expected the air support, though. All right. And here's your different types of weather. It looks like there's some optional rules, too. There's some random weather there. And then to win the game, victories determined at the conclusion of the April 1945 turn. You get victory points for control of certain objectives, relative casualty levels, and the health of Adolf Hitler. The player with the greatest 
number of victory points wins, but a tie as possible. Here it's going over the geographical objectives. Thanks for watching, guys. It looks like it's got pretty simple rules, but it says online that it takes quite a bit longer than the 60 to 90 minutes it says on the back of the box to play. Have a good evening.